Hello Dolphin Club rowers. In this video, you will learn how to safely launch and recover one of the Dolphin Club's wooden boats. First, make sure that both you and your boat are ready to row. Place both oars on the starboard side. Make sure the coast is clear and then move the boat by pushing down on the bow and rolling the boat down the dock. The apron height is adjustable to compensate for tides. The panel has four buttons, a start and stop, a reset, and up and down buttons. Make sure the start button is on the on position and now you are ready to raise or lower the apron. For launching a boat, you want the lip of the apron to be floating on the water. If the tide is coming in, leave the cables taut. This ensures that the apron rises with the tide. If the tide is going out, leave the cables with about a foot of slack. This will allow the apron to drop with the tide and you will be easily able to step onto the apron when you return. Remember to always look for swimmers before launching your boat. The blue stick with a curved edge is called a chalk. Slide the chalk up against either of the two sets of blue stops with the curved edge facing the clubhouse. Roll the boat out towards the center of the apron until the wheels catch on the chalk. If the apron is dry, use the bucket that's attached to the dock to splash some water. This will help reduce friction. There are a couple ways to get the boat off the dolly. From the bow, you can gently push, making sure to keep the boat on its center line and to not flop it over on either side, which can damage the whole planking. You can also stand at the stern of the boat and pull towards you. Just make sure that you keep your footing against the raised ribs on the apron and not the slippery center part. As always, keep the boat on its center line and don't flop it over onto its side. If you have to rest it on its side, make sure that you place it down gently. If you have to walk away from your boat while it's on the apron, secure it by using the bow line to tie a cleat hitch on one of the cleats on the apron. One thing to consider is that if the tide is very low, the apron will be very steep. If so, launch the boat in two stages. First, lower the apron slightly and position your boat on the apron, tie it to a cleat, and then lower the apron the rest of the way down. Stow your boat's dolly by rolling it over to the west side railing of the dock and leaning it up so it's out of the way. Then, stow the chalk up against the east side of the dock. Untie your cleat hitch, make sure the coast is clear, and then, with the bow line in your left hand, push the bow until the boat slides into the water. Be mindful of the very slippery roller at the end of the apron. Crouch down and then move the boat so the port side is parallel with the end of the apron. You can use the corner of the apron to pivot the boat into the correct position. To temporarily secure the boat, double up the bow line, pass it under the thwarts of the boat, and then back through one of the loops on the end of the apron. Grasp all four lines in your hand. Confidently step into the boat, taking care to only step on the burden boards. If there are swells or wind, you might need to time your step. 
Without letting go of the bow line, set your starboard oar lock and slide your starboard oar into the rowing position. Raise the port oar lock and then slide the oar so it's sitting diagonally across your lap. Secure your feet in position. Once again, check for swimmers. When the coast is clear, drop the bat line into the boat next to you, and with your right hand, push the boat forward and away from the dock. As soon as you are clear of the dock, slide the oar out into the rowing position. When you are done with your row, take a moment to prepare yourself before you approach the dock. Observe the water and wind conditions. Consider how they might have changed since you launched your boat. Make sure that your bow line is free of snags and laid across your lap for easy access. Slowly row the boat towards the apron at a slight angle. Remember that conditions can be tricky and there's no shame in missing and going around. When your bow is at the corner of the apron, slide the port oar into the boat. Lean over and grab one of the dock loops. With your free hand, thread the looped bow line through the dock loop, just like when you launched the boat. Stow both oars on the outboard side of the boat, then stow both oar locks. Even in calm conditions, stepping out of the boat can be tricky. Go slowly. If there are swells, time your step at the top of the swell. Grab the bow line in your right hand, watch the deck roller, and step onto the apron quickly and confidently. Just like when you launch the boat, you can use the corner of the apron to pivot the boat into the recovery position. First bring the bow past the left hand side of the dock, then push out the beam until the boat is close to perpendicular. Pull the bow to the center where the roller is. Lift with your legs and in one motion, lift the bow and pull the boat onto the ramp. Slide the boat up so at least two thirds of the boat is on the ramp. Tie the bow line off to a cleat. Retrieve the dolly, making sure it's the right one for the boat. For recovering boats, slide the wheel chalk behind the wheels, but in front of one of the set of blue stops. With the boat securely tied off, go to the control panel and raise the apron until it's slightly above level. Remember, gravity is your friend. It's much easier to slide the boat downhill than up. If the apron is dry, you can also use the bucket of seawater to re-lubricate the center of the apron. Slide the boat down the apron and back onto the dolly. If this seems like a daunting task to do solo, feel free to recruit help from another dolphin. The boat should slide upright with only the keel touching the ramp. Make sure that the keel is aligned to the dolly channel. Pull the boat forward until the boat is balanced in the bow up position or the oar lock is above the mark on the dolly. Frequently 
Finally, you will need to adjust the location of the boat on the dolly so it's balanced in the bow up position. Push down on the bow to measure resistance to see if you've got it in the right spot. Remove the chalk and return it to the rail. Roll the boat forward off the ramp. You might have to adjust the apron one last time. If there are no blue dollies left next to the rail or shell stretchers outside the boathouse, then you are the last boat in. Otherwise, lower the ramp until it floats in the water. This ensures that the next boat in will not have to dock against a ramp that is above the water. All that's left is to clean and stow your boat.